What is happening, webheads? Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. I'm your host, Mike Spider Slayer, always helping you make decisions of what comic books to buy. And if you love daily comic book content, guys, you came to the right place. Why don't you hit the subscribe button? So today I'm going to do a different type of video, and you're going to let me know in the comments below if you like this type of video. And this one here is a video where I'm going to show you the top 10 most pulled comics of the current comic book week. Now, this is not a sales figure. This is obviously a number that's generated from the League of Comic Geeks website, a great website to use to find out what's coming out for the current comic book week. And if you want to create a pull list for yourself, you can do that on this website. They have many different pay options and tracking and all that kind of other stuff. And just letting you know, this is not a, uh, a sponsored video or anything like this. This is just a site that I have used for years and years to create a pull list for myself. And this gives you an idea of what people are interested in. So I'm going to give you five comics on the outside of the top 10, and then I'll give you the top 10 all the way to the number one. So if you like this type of series, guys, just let me know in the comments below. I will do it every Friday when I have the opportunity. Fridays tend to be a real busy day for me, but today I had the opportunity and I wanted to get the feel of the room here. So here we go. Here's the first book that's on the outside looking in of that top 10. You would consider this number 15 in a way. Believe it or not, this is Captain America. This is issue um, eight. This is a 28 page comic for $5. So yes, this book has 2,454 pulls on the list. This one is written by J. Michael Straczynski and the art is done by Carlos Magno. So if there's anybody out there that is currently reading Captain America, let me know in the comments below. I think I stopped it after issue two. So the next book that was on the outside looking in, if you wanted to consider it number 14 on the list, believe it or not, I thought this would be higher. This is Deadpool issue one. Now the pool numbers that I'm giving you are only the main covers. This is not including the variant covers as you make a separate pull for the variant ones. This one has 2,666 pulls on it. I thought, again, people would be more excited for Cody Ziegler's Deadpool. This is a 40 page comic for five dollars nevertheless though i did read it it was a good comic one of the better deadpool series that has kicked off in quite some time so this might be a comic book where uh it's a word of mouth and people will start to pick it up as time goes along number 13 on our list the next book on the outside looking in surprisingly i feel like more people need to buy this book guys this is gunslinger spawn this is issue 30. this is a book that's only three bucks it's 24 pages it's written by todd mcfarlane 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 this artwork is done by carlo barberi guys uh gunslinger is a fantastic book of just a normalized spawn character who's trying to get revenge on uh people that killed his family in the past this book has 2885 pulls on the league of comic geeks website Let's increase that number. If you guys never heard of this website below, I will try to remember to put a link in the description box below and you can create your own pull list. The next book we're talking about is Vengeance of Moon Knight. This is issue one. We have a legacy numbering of 234. It's a 28 page comic for $5, guys. The big deal about this comic book is we're gonna find out who this dark Moon Knight character actually is, right? Now, on the pull list numbers here, we have 3,137 pulls. I think this series is pretty good. It's got kick-ass artwork here. So if you're into Moon Knight, this might be one to check out. 
This next book is right at number 11, guys. This is Shazam, and this is issue 10. This book is 32 pages. This one is $4. Our new creative team here is Josie Campbell and Manuela Lapicino is the artist on this book. I feel like this book got a little bit more interest with the creative team, or maybe did it drop from the new creative team? Let me know in the comments below if you picked up this issue. This this one had 3,315 pulls for this current comic book week. Here we go. Number 10 on our list goes to Birds of Prey. This is issue 8. This comic book had 3,553 pulls this week. I'm surprised this is still on many people's list. I dropped off of this book. Let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying it. This book is 32 pages for the price of $4. It's written by Kelly Thompson, which for me is a hot and cold writer, and the art is done by David Lopez. Again, if you're digging this comic book, let me know in the comments below on how it's improved for you. Coming in at number nine, this is a little bit of a surprise for me. This is Doctor Strange. This is issue 14, guys. The pull count on this one is 3,554 pulls. The legacy numbering is 440. It's a 28-page comic for $4. The writer of this comic is Jed McKay, and the artwork is done by Pasquale Ferry. I have not read an issue of Doctor Strange since um, his wife was in the comic book. So, um, yeah, Cleo Strange. So, ever since then, I've kind of been Doctor strange out. But if you like it, let me know in the comments below. Coming in at number eight, I am surprised this is in the top 10 this current comic book week. This goes to Star Wars issue 45. This has 3,649 pulls. I didn't know there was this many people reading a Star Wars comic book. This is a 28-page comic for the price of $5. Our creators on this one is Charles Soule. Our artist is Mad Madabek Mazalubaku. Yeah, I don't know how to say the name, so I apologize, but this particular issue has got a load of characters in here. If there's something that you want to tell me about Star Wars that is, you know, kicking some ass, let me know in the comments below. Maybe one day I might pick up an issue. Coming in at number seven, we have Void Rivals. This is issue eight. It has 3,881 pulls on the website. This book is a 32-page comic for the price of $4. Our writer is Robert Kirkman. Our artist is Lorenzo Di Felici. Uh, the artwork is pretty good. It's a solid book about two characters that takes place in the Energon universe by the name of Derek and Solilla, and they're working together to escape this bounty hunter by the name of Proximus. Really good issue. This was the thing, again, that kicked off the entire Energon universe. This is something that I think you should pick up. The first trade is out now. Will it increase in more pulls? Time will tell. Coming in at number six, we have The Avengers, issue 12. This book has 4,433 pulls, and I am surprised this book is so high up on the list. It's been better, but it hasn't been great. It does have a great uh, writer attached to it. It's Jed McKay. The art is done by Francisco Mortariano. I think that's how you say his name. Um... This particular issue, I already read it. It has our Avengers teaming up uh, or battling against the Orcus Sentinels. And you know what character is in this one, guys? It's 3D Man. So after this whole Fall of X is all over with, though, like, where are we going to go with the state of the Avengers. I feel like Jake McKay is a little bit uh, not so great on the team books, so we'll see how the story continues to develop here. We're closing in on our number one comic, but right now we're at number five, and I am also kind of surprised this book is at number five. I wonder if this was a cover buy this week. This one goes to The Immortal Thor. This is issue nine. Uh, this book had 
4,571 polls. This is legacy numbering 770, 28 pages. This is a $5 comic book. Again, the cover art is phenomenal here by Alex Ross. You can't go wrong with it. The writer here is Al Ewing. Abraham Robertson does the interior arts. This is a book that totally just went over my head. I no longer read it, but if you're enjoying it, that's great. If you want to let me know what it's about right now, you can put it in the comments below. Coming in at number four. Now, I would usually say that this is a comic book that is a cover buy, which I know it is, but this is number four, and this is the main cover, and this one goes to Poison Ivy. This is issue 21. This book originally was supposed to be a miniseries, and now I guess it's just an ongoing, right? This book had 4,723 pulls. This is a 32-page comic for the price of $4. I did mean to pick up a copy of this because I feel like this was a, a something about Poison Ivy and Batman of them meeting for the first time or fighting for the first time or something like that. So I wanted to pick this up and I totally forgot to do it. So if the story is great, guys, let me know in the comments below. But for congratulations for Poison Ivy for hanging on in the top five. Now we're on to our top three, and number three goes to Venom. This is issue 32. This book has 5,627 pulls. This story is crossing over between the Carnage and Venom storylines, and Carnage being this god and infecting and killing Dylan Brock and also killing Eddie Brock. It's a complete disaster. It's insane. It's so confusing, but it is good. There's a lot of action. The artwork is it's gory. It's fun. It's 28 pages. It's $4. Another book written by Al Ewing. And the art is done by Ken Lashley here. So if you're a Venom fan and a Carnage fan, I feel like this is a decent time for you guys to read this comic book. Here we go. Number two. Are we going to be a little bit surprised about this one? X-Men issue 33. Regardless of what you think of the fall of X or how poor the Krakoan age is or how tired you are of this state of the X-Men, it still continues to be put on people's pull list. There's 7,181 pulls on here, guys. And the writer here is Jerry Duggan, and the art is done by Joshua Cassera. Now, honestly, I can honestly tell you that when it comes to the X-Men, no matter what, I always buy it, and it's the main book, so I tend to follow it, so I have an idea of what's going on. Are you going to put it on your pull list in the future, or, or are you just going to drop it? because you're tired of it. Let me know. Oh, and also, this book is 28 pages, $4, and maybe there's a little hype behind the whole X-Men 97 stuff where people might be getting back into X-Men again. I don't know. Why do you buy this book? Again, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so can you guess what the number one most pulled comic of the week was based off of League of Comic Geeks numbers? Well... It goes to Batman issue 146. So it looks like people are most interested in Batman still, even though Chip Zdarsky is writing it. And maybe for a lot of people, his story is subpar. Now, and, you know, you got to admit, though, even though maybe the story is not as solid, people are always reading Batman, just like people read Spider-Man no matter what. So the number of pulls is 15,438. That's like doubling the X-Men issue, right? So people are still reading it. It's a 40-page comic for five bucks. We're on legacy numbering 911. Again, Chip Zdarsky is the one that's writing this story. You also have that great artwork uh, in there as well. You can't go wrong with it, but uh, you know, the story is not my favorite, but like I said, people will always buy Batman. It holds the number one spot this particular comic book week. So there you guys have it. There are about 15 books or so where you got the pull numbers and you get to see what people are kind of interested in based off of this website. 
I will leave the link in the comment section below. I'm sorry, in the, the uh, description box below so you guys can create your own profile for League of Comic Geeks and you can create your own poll list. And if again, if you like this video, let me know. It's kind of like a pilot episode where I'll try to do it when I can on Fridays. And uh, I like getting an idea of how these comics are doing and what people are interested in and helping you again what comics to buy so as always guys if you love the content there's more right here for you to check on and of course guys support the local comic shops keep buying keep collecting but always remember to read those comics guys thank you so much